بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته peace be with you all سيقال namaste and forgive me if I don't know any other form of religious greeting but welcome and thank you David for giving me this opportunity to share some of my thoughts with this wonderful beautiful congregation that sees the gathering of lights of God coming together and collectively wanting to make that difference and indeed when lights of God come together they do create a difference from scriptural readings we find that humanity's essence and origin is one soul and then that soul has been embodied within the bodily constitution and from that has been created another physical body through which the process of procreation begins the differences that come within humanity is at the bodily level but in essence as human beings we know no distinction there is no maleness or femaleness in us there is no blackness or whiteness we are at once the reflections of the most beautiful one when we learn that black is white male is female rich is poor young is old that is the time where we will begin to arrive at our origin the place destined for us we are from a land that knows no strife we have come to an alien world in which we feel we are of the body and hence begins this struggle for we want to reclaim our glory that is truly ours a state of peace and calm a state of love a state of care to me and i share this with my audience sometimes to their dismay but our religions of choice or birth are no different to our genders and our ethnicities they are as arbitrary to our real sense and nature and essence as are the foods that we eat and cultures that we adapt to we are beyond all of this at once now in this world of ours there is strife but maybe the reason for this strife is for us to learn our godly status and where we need to belong by removing this strife through showing what we really are when adam was being placed upon the earth or within the garden the angels protested according to our scriptures and that is there it's resonated by previous scriptures and there indeed one scripture and the same story has been continued throughout human history through different adaptations but the angels protested and they said that this one is going to cause bloodshed and corruption god said i know what you know not for he is a success story he will get it right eventually look at this gathering it's a reflection of god's confidence within humanity indeed if his soul has been breathed within our chests then it cannot hide there it will show itself within the communication of god to the blessed prophet known as hadith qudsiya the divine communications that are not termed as the quran these are spiritual communications god states to the prophet he said those to whom i have given wealth must consider themselves as my trustees to impart to those who are in need by seeing them as my family and if a trustee does not give the wealth i have entrusted to him to my starving family then i shall indeed hold him responsible god says again if you wish for shelter with me then give shelter to those who have no shelter if you wish me to feed you from the fruits of paradise then feed the hungry stomachs that are my family who are starving on the face of this earth if you wish me to forgive you 
then forgive others. If you wish to please me, then serve my creatures. The Blessed Prophet was asked, well, what is Islam in the most succinct manner? He said, Islam is devotion to God and service to mankind. But I think these were not novel instructions. They were reminders in order to reawaken us from a state of slumber. Otherwise, why should God tell us, be kind to your parent? At our human level, we know we have to be kind to our parents. It would be shameful that God has to teach us to be kind to our parents. Similarly, it is not right for God to tell us, feed my children and your human family. For indeed, even before God tells us, we should know this. God's speech to us is a reminder of the truth hidden deep within us. To awaken that truth, it is like a parent saying to a child, when you come of age, you will understand what I say to you today. But I want to finish on this note, that the strife that we have, we are suffering, and God looks upon us mercifully. As a parent, he sheds tears. As a parent, he is anguished by our state. But the fundamental cause for this state of ours is our alienation from ourselves. We have gotten so caught up in cultures and communities and societies and distinctions and religions, theism and atheism, that we have forgotten what we are within. I leave us with this thought. We need to take time out to be alone with ourselves in deep reflection and in the chanting of the name of the most beautiful one. The Quran says, do hearts find rest save by the remembrance of God? For when we remember him, we will find our true beauty re-emerging from the folds of our humanity. Thank you all so very much.